Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to work with sort data table activity. First of all, let me start with the scenario. If you see on my screen, I'm having student information that we are going to read this entire data by using read range activity and we are going to store this output into the data table, right? Let's assume I want to sort the data based on the student's name. I want to get the output from the student name based on the order, like ascending order and descending order. Okay, let's assume I'm having students information, but I want the output in a, such a format in the ascending order based on the student name. Or else, let me give you one more scenario. We'll work on these two scenarios right away. Let's assume I'm having science. Science is the subject. I want to know the student, I want to get the information of the students that who got the highest marks based on the marks which they have pursued. I want to know, I want to get the information who got the highest marks based on the uh, marks that I want to get the output. This is nothing but sorting of the data. Now, let me go ahead, let me see how we can do that on the data table. Let me switch to Viewpass Studio. I have already created a sequence with the name of sort data table. In the sort data table, I am using Excel application scope to open the Excel. And by using read range activity, I'm going to read the data from the sheet one, and I'm going to store the data in the data table that is VAD data table as a normal process. Now, I want to sort the data in the, in the data table. How can I go ahead and do that? Let me go to activities. Now, let me go for the activity called sort data table. You will find this activity under data table, and uh, that is sort data table. If you mouse over on that, what it will say is it will sort a data table by ascending or descending order based on the values of a specified column. Okay. Now, if you drag and drop this activity under the panel, and then we'll see the properties over here of the sort data table. The first property is the input, that is the data table, which data table we want to sort the data. That is, I will give it as var data table. That is the output from the read range, right? Now, before going to the output, I'm going to talk about the columns. We will talk about these columns later on. Now, we'll talk about the index. Index is nothing but as we have seen already, the, uh, we will start from the columns basis 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, right? The student name that we are going to work it, right? Now, that is a column index as zero. Okay, that is the index we'll give it. Now let me go ahead, let me give it as index as zero. And the name, if you're going to give out of these three properties, you can use only one property at a time. You can use column or index or column name. These are the, uh, any one of these uh, sorting mechanism or sorting property that you can use it at a time. Now, I will show you later on with the name. Now, I'm going to give the index with a zero, and I'm going to give it as ascending order. So, it's nothing but starting from A to Z, okay, and zero to uh, one, two, three, like that, okay. Now, I have given the input, and then I'm given the index as zero. That is nothing but indirectly, that is the student name, and order, I'm going to give it as ascending order. Now, where I want to store the output, I will say sort, I will give it as sort data table is the output where I want to store. Now, if you see in the variables, the variable with the name of sort data table with the variable type data table has been created. Now, once the data has been sorted, as a best practice, what we are going to do, we are going to write range activity. We are going to write the data by using write range activity. Now let me drag and drop onto the panel after sort data table. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to give the sheet name over here, simply sort sheet. And then I'm going to give the input for the right range. What is the input? What is the output coming for in the sort data table? That is nothing but sort data table is the input for the right range, right? Now let me go ahead, let me give that sort data table. Now let me go ahead, let me save the bot. Now let me run the bot. Now if you see, the new sheet has been created and you can see over here, Ajay, Amir, but it started with 
this is the string right that's the reason you can see from ajay a b d and so on right this is the way how we are going to be sorting the data but we forgot one thing the columns over here right now let me go ahead for the right range just add the headers and then run the bot once again now you can see the columns over here right student name class and all these things till now we have seen on the index basis now let us assume i want to work on the i don't know any indexes over there then how can i go ahead and do that based on the names that i can go ahead let us assume i want to do on the science i'm just going to give the column name that is science if you observe over here this is the column that we are going to give it okay the same names that we are going to give it over here because of it is going to be stored in the same way in the data table okay because of the default values will come in the same data table which we have given in the output right now i am going to the source table and i am going to give on the name is the science i want descending order okay now what i am going to do on the marks science is the uh, subject that which we have on the marks that i am going to make it an order okay if you see in the sheet one i am having different orders right you can see 94 87 88 94 and so on now what i want to do i want to uh, make descending order first i have to get the highest marks now that is the reason i have given the column name and the order is descending now let me clear this sheet let me or directly i'm going to delete this sheet now let me go ahead let me run the bot if you see over here sort sheet has been created and the data has been given in the descending order right if you see the highest marks 94 94 has came first after that 88 87 85 this is based on the subject or you know based on the marks it has given like you know if you are going to do on the strings it will come from a to z that is ascending order or else if you want on descending order you are just changing into the descending order after that we have seen on the column basis we have given the name directly in the ui path if you see i'm going to give the name over here directly and then i'm going to use the order as descending so that we got the output in a such a format that we got all the data in the descending order i hope you understand how to use sort data table in this session thank you for watching your past tutorials if you have any queries in this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day